Well, good morning and welcome to Five Minutes of Blessings with your man, Pastor Artel Downs Sr., brought to you today by Spirit of Excellence Ministries. And we're on episode 41, Praying Like Jesus, part five. Praying Like Jesus, part five. And we're going to continue to break down the Our Father prayer as a model to unlock and to move us closer in our relationship with our God and to improve our prayer life. So again, if you have never prayed, here's a way to prayer model that God has given us that he taught his disciples. If you have a prayer life, then hopefully this will help you and your toolkit to continue to pray and to use the word of God in our prayer life. Hallelujah. So let's go through a quick, um, you know, many of us quote this, but again, there is so much power and anointing. If we break it down, we use it not just as a quote, but as a way of life in our prayer life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. So to this morning, we're going to cover, give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Hallelujah. You know, in that statement, you know, God is really saying that, that we need to depend on him for everything. Hallelujah. That we depend on our God for everything. For our air, for our food, for our job, for our children, for our career, for godly encounters. Look, God gives us um, new things every day. And we want to depend on him to give it to us, to show us and to bless us hallelujah you know psalms 121 and 2 says my help come from the lord which made heaven and earth hallelujah you know proverbs 3 5 and 6 tells us trust in the lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths hallelujah so I'm going to give you four things that the shows us and also what we just got out of Psalms and Proverbs to support this. So Jesus taught us how to pray. He said the disciples said, Father, teach us how to pray because they saw that he had power, anointing, and results came from his prayer. So let's break this into four areas. Area number one, Jesus taught that we need to depend on on our God. Hallelujah. We depend on him because he is the one who is our help in a time of struggle. Hallelujah. Jesus also taught that we need help from God. Hallelujah. That when we depend on God, that our help comes from God. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus also taught that we can trust in God. You know, trusting in God is the safest place we can be. You know, in today's society, we talk about we need a safe place. We need a place where we can talk freely. Hey, when we trust in God and we lean not to our own understanding, hey, every area in God is safe. Every area of God is understood. You know, we can be honest before our God because we can trust him. And then finally, Jesus taught us that, hey, we need to know our God. Hallelujah. And all thy understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him so that he can direct our path. Hallelujah. If we don't know God and if God doesn't know us, he cannot, he cannot direct our path and point us in the direction that he would have us to go. You know, the Our Father prayer points us into all these elements that God has given us, that he's equipped us with to be a blessing, not just to ourselves, but to others, to the church, and to our community and our community. So remember, depend on God, look to God for help, trust in God, and know that God is for us 
and not against us. Hey, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God prosper you. Until I see you next time, God bless.